Well, it may just be a pile of wood chips right now, but this is next year's garden. And in my opinion, this is the easiest and cheapest way to start yourself a garden on top of grass. All I got going on here is cardboard and wood chips. Cardboard was free. Just pulled it from work. I work retail, so we got a lot of cardboard hanging around. Wood chips also free. Got an awesome local arborist that just drops these things off at uh, the property here instead of taking them to a landfill and uh, you know just putting them in the pile. Uh, we get to make use of them here on the farm. Uh, so yeah, I lay these down nice and thick, and then uh, rake away where I want the beds to be. And so the four inches of wood chips go to either side and get piled up into what will be the walkways between the beds. Uh, we rake right all the way down to the cardboard, uh, maybe add fresh cardboard if it looks like the weed pressure is still there. But if you leave this long enough, nature just really kind of takes care of itself. Um, the slugs and the worms and all the little soil microbes start making their way up to the top and just eat all the grass and the weeds and the things that you don't want. So let's just kind of check out this corner here. It's only been down for uh, I don't know, like less than a month and yeah it's already starting to succumb to the pressure of uh, you know no sunlight and bugs eating 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 everything. So yeah, the uh, cardboard that you want to use is it's just, just paper. You know, you, you don't want waxed cardboard, you don't want stuff that's got a lot of like, you know, plastic uh, finish around it, and you really want to try to peel off as much of the uh, uh, tape as you can. Um, it's just going to get in your way. You know, you're just going to be pulling it up with roots, and plants don't really grow with plastic. Uh, it's also a good idea to use, uh, you know, cardboard from Stanfields, probably help with the soil temperature. They keep me warm, and they'll keep my plants warm too. Oh yeah, super duper simple and easy. All you gotta do is acquire the materials which can be acquired for free. It's a little more sweat and effort than some methods of growing a garden or starting a garden, but the results for me last year in this method were fantastic. And the other thing that you get is less weed pressure this way. We're not tilling, we're not disturbing the soil bank, or excuse me, the seed bank, uh, and just inviting all of those old seeds that are laying dormant under the current weeds just to grow. We're just crushing everything and starting fresh and we're kind of replicating you know the, the natural patterns of nature uh, where lots of debris fall on top of the you know currently living debris and everything just slowly decays and turns into fresh delicious soil for things to grow in so yeah, I hope you give this a try if you're trying to start yourself a garden. It's great for a big garden, great for a small garden. One little bed of, you know, daffodils or strawberries or yeah, six beds of lettuce. Oh yeah, and when I say wood chips, what I really mean is like tree debris. We're talking the whole thing. We got leaves, we got sticks, we got big sticks, little chunks, little flakes. There's a variety of tree in this pile. I know, uh, you know some trees might change the uh, acidity and pH of your soil, but this is a nice blend of everything. And you can always just test your soil and amend as needed. So yeah, the wood chips, it's not just straight wood. You want a little bit of everything. This is all just gonna naturally you know, um, decompose and compost into your garden. And you want to do your best to get a level surface along the top just so you don't get a lot of rain just pooling in one area and making it super swampy when you go to start your beds. Uh, but nature's going to kind of help us out with that over the fall and the winter. Just keep pressing it down with more and more rain and now I can come out here and just uh, amend the, uh, the slope if I notice that it's not doing that well. Um, and I'm still leaving a little exposed edge on here because I do want to stretch it a little bit further. So that just gives me a easy, a easy way to like overlap the cardboard, uh, so we don't get the weeds coming up through the seams. And you're never going to get all the weeds. You know, gardening's constant weeding. Doesn't matter what you do, they're always going to come. But this really does seem to help and uh, get a lot of weed pressure in the other garden through this season, other than uh, comfrey and horsetail. But I don't really think that there's any way that I could totally uh, wipe those from the face of my garden. Uh, so yeah, look forward to getting this thing planted next year. We're going to do a bed of garlic right there. Uh, this little contraption to keep the deer, squirrels, and raccoons and whatnot out of the way. And then yeah, the rest of this will be filled next year in the spring.